Photopians, hello Region 1, Aloha to our Korean learners, airing live from the men with the new capital of the Philippines of Kala City, you're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home for every SEOSC learner, where passion is the key, learning paves the way, with our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center. A virtual home of every SDOSC learner. Good day, learners. Welcome to another day of learning math. Today, we'll have a new lesson in geometry that you will surely enjoy. It's streaming live here at CCN Carlos and Carly Network. I'm your math teacher, Miss Kai Valesterol Pangdalangan National High School. Learn and enjoy math today. Before we start, you will need your Mathematics 7, Quarter 3, Module 5, Paper and Pen, and your attention. Now that you're all set, let's start. At the end of this lesson, learners are expected to define, identify, and illustrate different kinds of polygons according to the number of sides. Second, differentiate convex from non-convex are concave polygon and last, value the importance of classifying a polygon according to its convexity, angles, and sides. To check your prior knowledge about polygons, let's try this. Which of the given figures are polygon and not polygon? There are 14 figures, and you have 10 seconds to answer. Your time starts now. Time's up. Which group are polygons? If your answer is this, figures, you are correct. Now take a look of group 1, polygons, and group 2, not polygons. Figure 2, 3, 6, 11, 13, 14, 9 are polygons. Let us define polygon. A polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more segments cold sides. Figures 4, 7, 8, 1 are not example of polygons. Yes, they're all closed figures but are not formed by three or more segments. Also, figure 4 and 1 are not plain figure. A flat surface with two dimension, length and width. But they are three dimensional figures. Again, Figures 4, 7, 8, 1 are not examples of polygons. When we talk about polygons, remember that each side intersects exactly two other sides, one at each endpoint. No two sides with a common endpoint are collinear, unless each line segment is called the side of the polygon and each endpoint where the sides meet is called the vertex of the polygon. Take note, each line segment is called the side of polygon, and each endpoint where the sides meet is called the vertex of the polygon. These are the sides of the polygon. And these are the vertices of the polygon. Let's talk about classification of polygons. 
Polygons can be classified according to the number of sides. Three sides is called the triangle. Four side is called the quadrilateral. Five side is pentagon. Six side is hexagon. Seven sides is heptagon. Eight sides is octagon. Nine sides is nonagon. Ten sides is decagon. Eleven sides is undecagon. Twelve sides is dodecagon. A polygon with more than 13 sides is named as n-gon, where n is based on the number of sides. Example, polygon with 13 sides is called 13-gon. Join this activity class about parts of a polygon. This figure has five sides, so it's a pentagon. And since we name polygons with capital letters, this polygon is pentagon A, B, C, D, E. So let us name the following parts of the given polygon. Vertices, angles, sides, consecutive vertices, consecutive angles, consecutive sides, diagonals. Let us refer to the pentagon A, B, C, D, E. So we have vertices or the vertex A, the vertex B, the vertex C, the vertex D, and the vertex E. And we also have angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, and angle E. We also have the sides. We have side AB, side BC, side CD, side DE, and side EA. We also have the consecutive vertices. These two are examples. We have A and B, and B and C. We also have consecutive angles. We have these examples. We have angle A and angle B. We also have angle D and angle E. We also have consecutive sides. These are the examples. We have line AB and line BC. We also have CD and DE. We also have diagonals. We have AC, AD, BE, and BD, and so on and so forth. Those are the parts of a polygon. Let us know more about polygons. We can also classify polygons according to their convexity. A polygon is either convex or concave, or also called as non-convex. So how will we know if a polygon is a convex or concave? Here are the two definitions to determine if a polygon is a convex. A polygon is convex if no line that contains a side of the polygon contains a point in the interior of the polygon. Another one, a polygon is convex if no, no diagonal is in the exterior of the polygon. Let's do this. Let us extend the side of polygon 2. As you can see, no line that contains the side of the polygon contains a point in the interior of the polygon. Polygon 2 is a convex. Let's try to extend the side of polygon 6. As you can see, there is a line that contains a side of the polygon in the interior of the polygon. That's why polygon 6 is a concave. Another way is checking the exterior of the polygon through its diagonals. Take note, diagonals. Okay, let's create diagonals in polygon 3. Is there a diagonal in the exterior of polygon 3? The answer is none. So polygon 3 is a convex. Another, let's create diagonals in polygon 14. 
Is there a diagonal in the exterior of the polygon? The answer is yes, there is. So polygon 14 is definitely a concave, a non-convex polygon. How will you know that a polygon is a regular polygon? A polygon is equilateral if all sides have equal length. Look at this polygon. All sides are equal. That's why it is an equilateral. How about an equiangular? A polygon is equiangular if all angles have equal measure. Look at this polygon. All angles have equal measures. That's why it is an example of equiangular. How about a regular polygon? A regular polygon is both equilateral and equiangular. Look at this polygon. This is an example of a regular polygon since all sides have equal length and all angles have equal measure. It is both equilateral and equiangular. There are regular polygons that have special names. Remember that a four-sided regular polygon is called a square. And a three-sided regular polygon is called the equilateral triangle. Let us try how far you have learned about polygons. We have test one. There are five figures here. White P if the figure is a polygon, otherwise white and P. You have 10 seconds to answer. Your time starts now. Time's up. And the answer is number one and P, number two P. Number 3, P. Number 4, and P. Number 5, and a P. Did you got it right? Very good. Another, we have test 2. State whether it is a convex or concave polygon. Also, classify each polygon. Example. This is a convex pentagon. So there are four figures here, and you have 10 seconds to answer. Your time starts now. Time's up. And the answer is number one. Conca concave hexagon, number two, convex octagon, number three, convex quadrilateral, and number four, concave heptagon. Did you have a perfect score on this? Very good. Next is our assessment. Read each question carefully and choose the correct answer. Are you all ready? Let's start. Number one, a closed plane figure formed by three or more segments is called blank. You have five seconds to answer. You can start now. Time's up. And the answer is a polygon. Next, number two, a polygon with five sides is called blank. You have five seconds to answer. You can start now. Time's up. And the answer is pentagon. Number three. A polygon is then if all sides have equal length. You have five seconds to answer. You can start now. And 
And the answer is equilateral. Number four, a polygon is blank if all angles have equal measure. You have five seconds to answer. You can start now. Time's up. And the answer is a triangular. Number five, a four-sided regular polygon is called blank. You have five seconds. You can start now. Time's up. And the answer is square. For your assignment, in pages 13 to 14 of your module, in Mathematics 7, Quarter 3, about polygon, do the given performance-based test in your notebook. Again, live here at CCN Carlos and Carlin Network, I'm your math teacher, Miss Kai Valestero. Thank you and good day. Philippines. Hello, Region 1. Aloha, Sakarinian learners. Airing live from the Manu, the blue capital of the Philippines and Carlos City, you're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SEO-SEC learner, where passion is the key. Learning paves the way. With our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center. A virtual home of every SEO SEC learner.